Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the part three of the same topic that is the perimeter and area. So we'll see in that exercise 17.2. We have decided find the area of the following triangles and this is given, the triangle has been given. So you can see this is a right triangle. This is 90 degree. So we have the formula for that is area of triangle is half base into height. So this is the base and this is the height of it. So we can write here half into this 5 into with the height is given as 4. So 2 ones are 2 twos are this is going to be 10 centimeter square. Now again this is the other triangle given. So you can see the here is 90 degrees. So this here is going to be the base and this is going to be the height of it. Again we are going to use the same formula area of triangle that is half base into height. So half into the base is 4 and the height is 7.5 that will be 15 centimeter square. Always the unit is going to be in square centimeter you can write or centimeter square both is the same. Now here again this, the, this is the base and this is the height of it. You will use the same formula. So that will be half into 6 into 5. So this is going to be 15 centimeter square. The base and height of a triangle are in the ratio is given as 3 to 2 and its area is 108 centimeters square and you have to find the base and height. So the ratio is given as this one 3 to 2 means this base is 3 and the height is 2. So we can write let base of triangle be 3x and height be 2x. So again here we are going to use the same formula area of triangle that will be half into base into height. So the area is given as 108. So below this area you are going to write here 108. This is the same base is 3x and the height is 2x. So this you are going to do here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. That will be 1. So 108 as it is. So this is going to be see here this is 3x and this is x. So it is going to be 3x square. This is important. So now you will write 108 as it is and this 3 this is multiplication. This will go in the denominator because it is changing the side. And this is x square. So this will be when you simplify this this will be 36 will be x square so when you square both the sides that means we can say x is 6 because 6 6 are 36 so now we got the value of x so now we have here that is 3x and 2x so that is the base is 3x and so we can say base will be 3x that will be 3 into this will be 6 over here that is 18 centimeter and the height is 2x that will be 2 into 6 that is 12 centimeter so this is the answer Find the area of an isosceles triangle, right triangle, that is the isosceles right triangle, if one of its equal sides is 30 centimeter long. So area of this isosceles triangle, right triangle, because this is the isosceles triangle means these two sides are going to be the same. So one side is given as 30, so the other side also should be 30. So we write here half into 30 into 30. So this is going to be 15, so that will be 15, 30 is a, that will be 450 centimeter square. The area of a triangle is 600 centimeters square. If its base and the corresponding altitude in the, are in the ratio 4 is to 3, find the length. So now the area is given and the base and the altitude is given. So this is the base and this is the altitude of it. So now because it is given the ratio, so we can write here, let base of triangle be, that is 4x and altitude be, this will be 3x. So now again the same formula area of triangle will be half into base into height. Now the area is given that is 600. So we'll write below this area, we'll write 600. This is the same. Base we are going to consider 4x and the height we are going to, going to consider as 3x. So this is going to be 2 ones are 2 twos are. So here remains is 6 but then again x into x that is going to be x square. So 600 will be 6x square. So 600 this is going to get divided is equal to x square so six ones are six hundreds are so hundred is equal to x square so when we are going to square both the sides so x is going to be 10 centimeter so they have asked for the length so now we will take for this one as this base 4x and the altitude 3x so base of triangle is 4x so 4 into the value of x is 10 so that will be 40 centimeter and the altitude that is nothing but altitude is the height that is 3x and that is 3 into 10 that is 30 centimeter. The base and height of a triangle are in the ratio 
that is 6 is to 5 and if its area is 135 centimeter square you have to find the base and the height of the triangle so now when you, this ratio is given that means this is the base and this is the height of it so le let us consider let the base of a triangle be 6x and height be 5x so the area of triangle that is half into base into height so the area is given as 135 so below this we are going to write here 135 half into this will be 6x and this is the 5x so 135 is this will be 2 ones are 2 threes are so 3 5 are is 15 and this into x into x that is going to be x square so that is going to be 15x square so you, this will keep as it is in the numerator and this will go in the denominator that is x square so 15 ones are 15 nines are so 9 is equal to x square so we want the value of x so that we are going to square both the sides so x is going to be 3 because 3 into 3 is going to be 9 so now we have here we can consider this one as this is the base of the triangle so what what is that that is given as we have considered here as 6x so what you are going to write here 6x and now we know the value of x is 3 we got it here so that is going to be 18 centimeter and the height of the triangle that is here 5x so here we'll write your 5x that will be 5 into 3 because x is 3 so that is 15 centimeters so this is the answer in the figure in triangle abc bc is given as 16 centimeter ac is given as 12 centimeter ab 10 centimeter and altitude ad is 6 centimeter you have to find b and then altitude on side ab so this is the figure given only these sides are not given but it is already mentioned in the question that this is 6 and this is 10 so now in triangle we can take here abc this triangle now let us consider this part first and this the altitude of this one so you know that is half into base into height so this part so now this is the height of it that is 6 1 and this is the base bc so that will be half into 16 into this height is ad that is 6 so now that will be 2 ones are 2 8s and 8 6 are 48 centimeter square so the this area is going to be 48 centimeters square now we already in this one we want the b so now we will go for this part this b so this b we are going to consider this one now again we will go for the triangle area of triangle with base that is the for this b this the base is going to be ac and this is the height this b is the height we have to find out this part so now we can again go with the same formula area of triangle is half base into height and we already got now this we know area of triangle is 48 we already got it here so area of, that we write here 48 half into base what is the base here this ac is the base which is already given that is 12 but we don't know b so we can write here base into this height so here this will be 48 now let us cancel this one two ones are two six are so six will go in the denominator because it is changing the side and this is the height here so height is going to be this will be a so that will be eight centimeter and which is that is b so we can write here b is eight centimeter now altitude of this cf on side a b now this we can consider this we can also put here as this cf this will be cf because we want the they have said altitude on side ab so the on side ab which is the altitude this should be the altitude right so we can also put here or here so this is the altitude of this one so we can consider this as cf so now here we can say altitude this one be that altitude be cf on side ab so again we'll start with the area of the triangle that is half base into i an area of triangle is given here that is 48 we already got it so half into the base is here the base is a b and this is the height of it this cf whatever we are considered that is the height of it so we can write here a b into cf that will be 48 is equal to half into 10 the a b is given as 10 and we don't know what is cf so two ones are two fives are so this will be 48 as it is in the numerator this will go in the denominator because the side is changed and this cf already on the right hand side 
So when you divide this 148 divided by 5, 5 nines are 45, and this is 3. So you will put here one zero. So that will be point over here. 5, 6 are 30. So that should be 9.6 will be CF. So we can say altitude CF is 9.6 centimeter. This is what they asked. Triangle, this one, this PQR is a right angle triangle. This PQR is a right angle triangle. This is 90, so this is going to be a right angle. If PQ is 9, this PQ is 9, QR is 12, this QR is 12, you have to find out the area of triangle PQR and the length of this PR. This length you have to find out. And you have to find out the altitude of QS. This, this is the altitude. You have to find the altitude of QS. So now since we know triangle PQR is a right angle triangle and these are the given things, PQ is given and QR is given. So now let us start with the area of the triangle PQR that is half into base into height. So half into what will be that? The base is QR, the height is PQ. So QR into PQ. So half into this is 12 and this is 9, 12 into 9. So this will be 54 centimeter square. So now we got the area of the triangle. The next thing is we have to find the length of PR, this one. So can you see this is a 90 degree means this is going to be the hypotenuse of it. The side opposite to 90 degrees is the opposite side. This is the base and this is the height. So we have the formula like that for the Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse square is base square plus height square. So now let us use that one so we can get the see here. Yeah, so first thing. Yeah, so this was done. So now again, you know, this is what I said now that, that in triangle PQR, angle Q is 90 degree. But so by Pythagoras theorem, that is PR square is QR square plus PQ square. QR, PR means this is the hypotenuse. So that is the base square plus the height square. So this is what is the, so we don't know the PR, but we know the QR. QR means the base we know that is 12 square and the height is 9 square. So this is going to be 144 plus 81. So we can write here this PR square is when you add this, that is 225. So when you square both sides, so what will you get here? PR is going to be, this will be 225. That will be 15 centimeter because 15 into 15, that is 225. So we got PR. Now we want the altitude. This is the QS. We want the QS. That is it. So what we are going to do here? So again, we'll start with the area of triangle PQR. That is half into base into height. So base is PR and this is the height. So we already got this PQR that is 54. So now we will write here this half into the PR we already now we got here 15, but we don't know QS. So what will you do here? This also we can simplify here, but that will be 7.5. This will be, uh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so this will be 7.5. So this 15, uh, this will be two, two sevens are 14. And this will be 7.5. Instead of that, we'll just do one thing. We'll take this two on one, this side. So that is going to go in the numerator. And this will go in the denominator. That is going to be QS. So this is going to be 108 divided by this 15. So that is QS. So when you divide this one, 108 divided by 15. So that will be 15 sevens 105. And this is going to be 3. And we put here 0 means it is going to be 15 twos are 30. So that is going to be 7.2 is equal to QS. So now we can say length of QS altitude, that is the altitude, is 7.2 centimeter. So by this one, we have completed today's work. To like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.